Christmas dogs can play a vital role in the lives of their handlers, from assisting them with physical limitations to being a companion when they need them most. In Madison, the need for service dogs is greater than it's ever been before. WMTV 15 News' Mackenzie Davis shows us it's becoming more difficult for them to keep up with the demand post-pandemic. Look up. I tell her it's time to go to work, and we put her vest on. Laura Abilene and she goes into work mode. And her service dog, Luma. Yes, you turned it off and on. Are the perfect match. Her name comes from the meaning light. It's interesting because she's a dark dog, but uh, she really is a light in my life. Break. To date, we have placed over 265 dogs. Nicole Meadowcroft, president of Custom Canines, the service dog training academy that matched Laura and Luma. It's a huge accomplishment. Has been providing service dogs to people with disabilities, illnesses, and injuries since 2009. But the biggest group they've been helping recently, veterans and first responders. That right now seems to be one of the biggest needs and most demanded service dog that we train. 265 lives changed in the nearly 15 years of service to the Madison community and beyond. We have been able to play service dogs with veterans throughout the country. Just one of those many lives changed is Laura, a United States Air Force veteran. When I got Luma, I was in, I was in a really dark place. Having Luma has changed everything from my daily routine. Uh, kind of forcing me to have a daily routine from uh, one thing and just being active. Um, she is full of energy. Four-year-old English Black Lab Luma assists Laura with everyday tasks and alerts her to a medical condition. She's she, essentially a medical device, so and the best one out there in my, in my opinion. Each dog from weeks old until they reach two years old is uniquely trained by volunteer puppy raisers to fit the needs of their future handler. But right now, Custom Canines doesn't have enough puppy raisers. I see our wait list increase every week. Leanne Vick works at Custom Canines now, but for years she was a puppy raiser herself. She's seen both sides of the operation, from raising a number of service dogs with her family to processing applications for the organization and matching dogs with a handler. We can only do so many dogs because we don't have enough razors. Um, if we have more razors, we can get more puppies. <laughs> right now, we just need the razors to do this. Some veterans, first responders, hopeful to receive a service dog, but are waiting on a lengthy two to five year wait list with about 250 others. Yep. It's, it's, it's hard to see that list grow and grow and grow and know we, we can't help them all. And that's really, really hard because these dogs aren't only saving these people's lives, it's saving marriages, it's saving families. The pandemic really did not help um, any of us, but we're also playing catch up too with trying to get those dogs up to speed that didn't get the socialization that they normally would have. But a handler and a dog being matched depends on the skills the dog is being trained for to make sure the right pup gets to the right person at the right time. I don't think I would be where I am today um, without having Luma in my life. But Luma is more than a medical device for Laura. She's a best friend and a lifeline. I feel safe with her and that's, that's a big thing. A hero for our country. These people are really heroes, and I'm very appreciative of the volunteers. Thanking the hero who raised Luma. And that's another beautiful thing. It's a bonus. You know, you get a dog, but then, you know, you have a, another, another friend and also the support of the organization. In Madison, Mackenzie Davis, WMTV 15 News. Now, if you're interested in becoming a volunteer puppy raiser, you can connect with Custom Canines. That information can be found on our website, wmtv15news.com.